Sure enough, the pattern spreads out. Light seems to be diffracting as a wave would diffract. Now, if you look very carefully at the pattern, you may have seen that there are little black bars in the spread out pattern. Now, those, those bars in the pattern might be an example of interference. So let me show you where those bars might have come from if light really is behaving like a wave. Let's imagine that the lines that we have drawn on this uh, little pattern here represent waves. And let's imagine that we're thinking of light behaving like a wave. Imagine that the light from the laser that we just showed you is being shined on a slit. The light comes from the bottom of the pattern and moves upward, as you see it represented here. And the little, the little spot here represents the edge of that slit. And as the light, here we're thinking of it as behaving like a wave, encounters the edge of that slit, it diffracts. And these waves then which move out represent that spreading pattern of light as it diffracts off the edge of the slit. Now let's imagine that uh, we're also creating diffraction off of the other edge of the slit on the other side. And that also creates a diffraction pattern that, that sends these waves back out into the space behind the slit. Well, when we have those two, they each create then waves that move into the common region of space behind the slit. And when we do that, we see a very unusual pattern represented. There is a pattern of lines which radiate away from this slit, which are regions of destructive interference. That is, they're places where the waves diffracting off the opposite sides of the slit cancel each other out. The destructive interference places are out along these lines, like that one, or that one, or that one. But halfway in between those lines, there's a region of constructive interference, where the waves build on each other to construct an even bigger wave. Now, if you put a screen into this region behind the laser, the laser light again moving upward, encounters the uh, slit, and then you put the screen in the way, and then walked along the screen, then you'd encounter first destructive interference, and then constructive, destructive, constructive, and then destructive. If the destructive interference causes the light to be canceled, that is, to create a black spot on the screen, then you'd see an alternating pattern of bright and black and bright and black and bright and black. That's an interference pattern. And if you saw light doing that, you'd see it doing something that waves do.